The month of November is Native American Heritage Month. ABC 10, we are recognizing the history, the culture, and contributions of indigenous people. And drumming is a big part of Native culture. And tonight, as Candace Red explains, it's used to create much more than music. As a Native American. The drum beat represents our heartbeat and, you know, our connection with Mother Earth. Joaquin Rojas says drums are sacred. <laughs> Rojas, who lives in Sacramento, says he's been drumming and singing for more than 20 years. I've been singing since I was five years old. It's the only life that I know. Rojas is a member of a Native group called the Red Hoop Singers. Together, they teach Native communities the importance of respecting the drum through songs handed down from generation to generation. We use our drum for everything in our community. If we're able to sing for our community, we're there. Part of being a singer in our culture is a responsibility of to show up when we're needed, to be there when we're needed, and when we're called on to always share our songs. Rojas says Native drums are treated like elders held in the highest regard. We wouldn't leave our elders out in the cold without a blanket. We wouldn't leave our elders alone. You know, we to carry our drum with us, we keep it warm. Indigenous people have been using drums for centuries in ceremonies, celebrations, and spiritual gatherings to communicate with tribal ancestors. Drums are also used to help heal the sick and vulnerable. When we're hitting that drum, again, we're, we're making that heartbeat. And when we're singing, we're lifting those prayers. We're lifting our positive thoughts, our energy to who needs it. Long before we ever had Western medicine, our music and our dance is what used to heal our people. For Stoney Dodson, It's the center of our people. The drum is a connection to Native identity. To know it, to be, become closer to it, I think is to also become closer to our people and our culture and our ways. Dodson, who's also a Red Hoop member, says he learned about drumming as a child during Native ceremonies. I took my first steps at the, in the, in the powwow arena. Uh, I could dance before I could walk. I could sing before I could talk. Dodson says drumming also saved his life. It's been there for me in times where I needed something to heal me. I needed something to turn to that was positive. There are all sorts of native drums, like hand, powwow, sweat, and water, each with a specific size and purpose. There are hand drums that are used for a ceremony called round dance. Uh, there's big powwow drums where a large number of people will be sitting around the drum. And then there are small handheld drums that we use for sweat. Water drums are, are used in peyote meetings that are uh, that happen a lot in the southwest regions. Both Dodson and Rojas say the drum continues to be a cultural lifeline for Native people and their communities. It always feels good in healing not just for what the drum does for us but for what the people around us you know does for us and what it continues to do. It gives us an outlet for the youth especially being in a city like Sacramento there's a lot of kids who are growing up urban maybe they're not close to where their culture was at but having a drum in the community gives them an outlet to express their culture, to express their identity, and to get in touch with who they are. A community drum is now at the Sacramento Native American Health Center, and the center welcomed the large powwow drum Saturday night with a special ceremony filled with traditional Native dancing, singing, and food.